All hail Andy Weir. Ah. Uh, anyway, Andy Weir is a great author. Now, not only has he written The Martian, which uh, became a feature film that starred Matt Damon, he also read, which needs to become a feature film that stars somebody, Artemis, or re wrote, not read, wrote Artemis by, um, yeah, he's a great author. See, Andy Weir manages to create irreverent characters that j are just pains in the ass to anyone and everyone around them, but they still get shit done. Here's the thing. I haven't read this one yet, but I bet you there is a sarcastic a-hole in this book, too. And I can't wait. It's going to be on my reading list for a while. I have 80 books, and I'm working through Chupacabra right now. At the time of recording this, it's a bulk recording. You'll live. Anyway, if you haven't checked out The Martian, this is a book for nerds. Yes, and it's awesome. Tons of math and science that I barely understand, but it's awesome. And it's a good story about survival and hope and maintaining a, a positive outlook even when the situation is dire now this masterpiece i think this is my favorite book because i just love it has um stars yasmin bashara who is just a self-realized character who has made a ton of mistakes and wishes to redeem herself now here's where i'm gonna get into some spoiler territory for this one except but first but first this right here is the Martian, but for the layman. She, there's a lot of science explained, but it makes sense more than trying to get into the math of the Martian. In Artemis by Andy Weir, <laughs> by Andy Weir, uh, you follow Yasmin, who is uh, she's a she's a delivery gal. She brings things across to whoever she needs to. She makes some shady deals, but for the most part, they're just normal deals that people don't want um people don't want so you first see her talking to this guy with the russian mob and he usually orders some cigars from her that's the extent of her shadiness she doesn't allow some certain things on the ship or on the moon on the moon colony in the moon colony and she kicks a lot of butt but things start to go wrong as the guy actually asks her to do a favor for him. Well, not a favor. He'll pay her a million slugs. Yeah, slugs, which is their form of currency. But it's not a form of currency. It's like an allotment of how much weight you can transport from Earth. Anyway, so he gives her a job. And the next thing she knows, he's dead. People are after her. And there is a crime syndicate going on on the moon colony. And shit hits the fan. Shit hits the fan. Frankly, if you want an interesting sci-fi book that's still very grounded in reality, because our, uh, Yasmin, she's a, a young adult, and then on top of all of that, she's because she's not only a badass because she can handle herself. She does make mistakes. She does come across problems, but she's a good problem solver. She's very intelligent, self-realized, because even when she was a kid, she's like, I don't want to work. I want to be rich. Oh, yeah, look at that candy tongue. Anyway, point being. Uh, she, she says, I don't, want, I don't want to work. I want to be rich. She messes up, hurts one of her, uh, two of her most valued relationships. Three, I think? Three. And she manages to more or less resolve all three by the end of the book. And then she develops another one on top of all of that. And she's so self-realized that when she needs help from somebody, she needs something from them, and she asks for it, the, the lady looks at her like she's um, a highly promiscuous girl. And Yasmin thinks, what's it to you, lady? Your son has been with more guys than I have. And it's... Oh my god, it's a hilarious book. If you haven't heard of Andy Weir yet, check him out. Or if you have heard of him but haven't read any of his books, check him out. If you find... Um, look at Curse Kazat. He They have a, uh, a narration of The Egg, which Andy Weir wrote. And that one's pretty cool if you're, if you're willing to hear um, an outlook on God and all that. So, anyway, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell,
stay tuned for more and check out my channel for more stuff that you may like. Have a good one.